Our first inductee is a 1945 graduate of Beach City High School, Mr. John Regula. John Regula is a 1945 graduate of Beach City High School. He is the son of Oscar and Orpha Regula of Beach City. The Regula family lived on Justice Avenue in Beach City. I think as a young man, he took a Dale Carnegie course, and I think that helped him a lot because he was a real people person. <laughs> One of his strengths was the ability to, to talk to people and get along with people. At a young age, John used his ability to get along with people to start his very own milk hauling business. He was taking, uh, they're dropping their family's cans, milk cans, uh, off at Brewster Dairy, and then he started taking the neighbors' milk cans too. So eventually, I think in the 70s, he had five bulk tank trucks that he was running every day. And a, a bulk tank truck is, the, is, just as it sounds, it's a tank rather than the cans that they used to have. And um, I think he had one of the first bulk tank trucks in Ohio. Ralph and my dad were business partners in the milk hauling business. And they had a really good relationship. They were, they were about as close as two brothers could be. They were, they were business partners, um, but they were, they were just partners. They were brothers, and they shared everything. There's a story of how I think he and Ralph were out on a double date somewhere, and, and their car broke down, and they called my grandpa you know, to you know, tell him, and he pretty much said, well, do the best you can. And John met his wife, Rhea, in his early 20s while delivering milk. Rhea worked at the counter at the Brewster Dairy, where John had to come once a week on his milk route. John and Ray were married for 57 years and had four children and 10 grandchildren. She was also his partner, and they had a, a very special relationship, too. And Dad wouldn't have been able to, to, to do everything he did with the school board and so forth without the, the love and support of my mom. He pursued getting on the Board of Education. John graduated from Canton Business College in 1947 with an associate's degree in business and education. John became part of the Board of Education in 1958 and was elected president in 1961. When they were building the high school, um, he would buy these pine trees from the state of Ohio and he'd get us out there and behind the school, the hill behind the school that has all the pine trees, we planted those. And the five trees that are out in front of the high school were for the original five board members. I think a lot of his time on the board was, was probably spent trying to bring the community together. And, uh, he was easy to talk to and, and had a good personality. Yeah, I, I think that was one of his greatest strengths, is he liked people, people liked him. John retired in 1980 after 22 years of being on the Fairless Board of Education. Fairless High School celebrated all of his accomplishments with the Board of Education by giving him a ceremony in his very own day. After retirement, John spent the majority of his time with his family. Um, one of the things that was special to my mom and dad was um, Mommy Bay State Park oh, yes. um, up by Toledo. They, they heard about this in the 90s, I think. It had opened up in mid-95 or so, and they went and visited it. And so then they started a tradition where every summer for three to four days, our entire family would go there. At this time, John would show his children and his grandchildren how to follow up the legacy that he left at Fairless High School, and they did. When in doubt, the regulars can always remember the words that their father and grandfather often said. One of his uh, famous sayings was just, do the best you can. <laughs>